it's been a really um, kind of a life changing process for me. Um, and I find myself more and more when anything happens and I sense that level of stress start to go up immediately my brain is kicking in the gear and going you're not on your cue card you need to get back on your cue card and and I'm able to just kind of take a breath and so for me it's just this this big shift and it has really reduced my stress level and made me realize how much of that stress wasn't about what was going on around me but was about what I was internalizing regarding what was going on around me that there has been so much healing that has happened for me in the last three weeks doing this. Amazed at how these memories come up of things that I didn't think were such big moments in my life. So I'm in awe of this process and inspired to keep to keep going with it because it's powerful and does things in ways that other work I've done doesn't. So thank you so much. Jane and Gary. So um, at ease with Jane Reese, this is going to be part of my life. I've had Zoom calls and um, they just announced layoffs and I automatically did a sheet in my head. Like, you know, so I could like stay calm and collective and actually take in the information I was receiving. So um, this has been one of the better experiences I've had as far as my spiritual journey. I just see how you can really apply it. And if you allow yourself to be vulnerable, you can enrich relationships you have with people. But for me, I think the the most powerful takeaway comes from um, a, a kind of aphorism that you gave us last week, Jane, in saying that pain not transformed is transmitted. And I am so acutely aware of healing this in myself so that I do not give this to my son as an inheritance and I found it to be really really um, transformative uh, and for me the reason I know how effective it is is because of how uncomfortable um, and unpleasant it has been for most of this week for me.